All right, welcome back, everybody. Our next guest is here to talk about an important topic, reverse mortgages. David Heidlin from Franklin Funding joins us right now this morning with to explain what a reverse mortgage is and exactly how someone can benefit from getting one. David, thank you so much for coming back on the program. Thanks. Great Thanks to see you as always. Uh, I've seen these commercials on TV all the time about reverse mortgage. The Fonz is on there trying yeah. to sell them. There you got some congressmen too. So what exactly is a reverse mortgage? Thanks for asking. A reverse mortgage is an FHA insured loan. It's a unique loan. It's only for uh, seniors 62 and older. Uh, primary residents, homeowners, but it allows them, what it does, it allows them to tap into a portion of their home equity uh, without having to uh, give up ownership, give up title, of course, sell the property, or take on a new monthly mortgage payment. So basically, the value of your home, you can kind of capitalize on and draw some of that income out. Right. You're basically allowed to use, use your home to, to stay at home and, and use that asset. Well, yeah, tell me kind of the things that, that a lot of seniors, because you said it's 62 plus, what exactly would you be using that for? We usually can see uh, three typical clients. Mm -hmm. uh, we see people that are security-minded folks. Those are the folks that come to us and maybe they want to just establish a line of credit, uh, have a, a fund there for a rainy day. Uh, the other kind of people we see are, is usually uh, lifestyle. They want to either enhance or maintain a certain level of lifestyle that they're used to. They can use the reverse mortgage to supplement income and do so. And then the third would probably be uh, the needs-based, immediate needs-based client. That's somebody that wants to pay off an existing mortgage, take the place, the reverse mortgage actually takes the place of their existing mortgage, and therefore they don't have that monthly mortgage payment, so it frees up immediate cash flow, so an immediate need. Sounds like a good thing. Now, uh, reverse mortgages have actually gone through a little tweaking uh, since last fall, so what do people need to know right now about them? Yes, yes, constant uh, change in our industry. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, which is good. Uh, m many of the changes taking place are to protect the homeowner and the consumer, so that's really good. Uh, we're seeing three main changes. The first is that uh, the reverse mortgage can no longer be uh, a Band-Aid for a bigger financial issue. Mm -hmm. uh, we're really having to take a look at people's uh, income and, and expenses and, and see if the reverse mortgage is a good fit for them for the long term. It doesn't do anybody any good if the reverse mortgage is just a Band-Aid, as I mentioned, right. for a bigger financial issue. So we're doing a lot more underwriting, uh, financial health, if you will, underwriting uh, to make sure it's a sustainable product uh, and solution for the senior. Second thing we're seeing is uh, that uh, the senior can no longer take a lump sum. Uh, they've limited FHA, the Federal Housing Administration, who insures this program, has limited to 60% of the available amount in the first 12 months. Oh, wow, because nobody wants to be without a home. If you take the whole thing out and then lose your shirt, you'll be homeless. Exactly. We're, we're trying to make sure, really, as an industry, that people can continue to pay their property taxes and insurance. Yes. Yeah and maintain that home and stay in there. So it wants to want, we really want this to be a long-term uh, solution for them. So limiting the amount of draws on the, on the upfront um, to the first 60%. And then there's a, a good change that came about, the third thing. Yes, and this is the one everybody's gonna wanna like or enjoy is, is lower cost. Uh, the reverse mortgage is not for everyone uh, and it used to be one size fits all, kinda across the board as far as the cost. Now, costs are much lower, and for many in the low country, it could be as much as $10,000. Oh, wow. So if people are interested in getting a reverse mortgage, what's the first step? What do they need to do? I really think uh, there needs to be more conversations. Uh, there needs to be conversations with trusted advisors, with attorneys, with financial planners, uh, with CPAs, and the adult children. Um, conversation is key because there's so many, we fear what we don't understand. Sure. And there's so mit, many misconceptions uh, out there about the reverse mortgage. There's so many people that don't understand how the functions of the reverse mortgage work. And I really think we just need to have more conversations. And we want to be a part of that conversation. If you want to go, let's say, to Franklin Funding and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation about a reverse mortgage or any other kind of uh, financial institution kind of thing that you might want to enter into, do you want to bring your, your tax records as well as your property records, your house value, all those vital documents with you on that first meeting? No, not on the first meeting. Uh, again, it's conversational. Uh, really, we just want to have an idea of your home value. Mm -hmm. uh, we know your age. There's three factors, home value, age, and interest rate. We know the rates. So we really just need to have a conversation uh, and it needs to be very, very relaxed and, and um, uh, very uh, just a relaxed conversation. Well said. Let's put that information <laughs> up on the screen one more time. If you'd like to uh, inquire within Franklin Funding about a reverse mortgage, you can check them out at that phone number or that website, www.franklinfunding.com. David, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Do appreciate it as always. Now we're going to send things over to Tom.